Okay, okay, okay. No diamonds, no diamonds. Oh, beautiful with the nuts. Oh my god. $187. I need it. Uh, giraffe, 6.9. Very on brand. We have like. We have not flush rods, I guess. He has a lot of shitty hands. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm gonna call under up my hand pretty hard, not gonna have a whole lot of ace X. Yeah, I think that's okay. Easy. Well not really strong, I have a shitty stack, but What's the meaning of earning points if we can't do anything with them? Uh, they will be there soon. It's actually my fault now. I have done... Well, I typed out a little bit. Do it. Um. That's... It's actually... If you can't do anything with the points, maybe it's better if you can't do anything with the points. Uh, press I call. My hand plays really well multi way. <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna fucking get it in. They only have 11 big blinds. God, if I fucking lose to something disgusting there, it's gonna be so annoying. Just don't see any other way around it. Like they just lead. What are they just gonna fucking cold call sevens and fives? Possibly. Then just lead pot when this stack is short, they can jam and then everything can happen around them. Isn't this just somebody protecting their fucking equity against this short stack bounty? Like fuck me, dude. And then I might not even be winning versus them, of course. If they call, I'm gonna be so frustrated. Actually, I'm just gonna be fucking tilted if I lose his hand. Sure, if King Queen of Hearts lose, fine. Has sevens through the roof. They cold call with something that beats me? Fuck me, you know? Like, why would they not ISO against somebody when they have queens, kings, aces? What a wild fucking hand. We're in La La Land. Like, this just, you know. There's a high chance that I've never played in this spot in my entire life. Maybe once or twice. Where somebody leads pot into the short stack when two people cold call a three bet from under the gun, under the gun plus one. Like, this is fucking wild. We're in the fucking twilight zone. But I have 80 big blinds and I would like for that to work out. Nice. Very happy. That's actually an insane outcome for somebody to bet fold there. I completely missed the fact that this guy is short, even though I just played a pot with him. So bad. So bad on my side. Wow. Four clubs? Five's no club? No problem. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so he bets pots. I have a shitty hand. This is limped five ways. But I still have top pair, back to flush for plus they potted. They played some wild fucking hands so far, you know. Can't just do anything with somebody behind me. Clearly, I'm not folding this heads up, but but I guess it makes sense that if he's playing like higher buy-in, sometimes if he's selling action through a client, etc. Yeah. What's a, what's a way to bluff here, right? How do we bluff? Min-raise now? Like, how would we bluff in this spot? If we call, we always have a spade, and if we jam the river, we always have a good one. No?
Like, isn't isn't raising the turn and then jamming the river the only way we can bluff? Because if we call the turn, then we float, I guess. But are we really just going to float with fucking ace jack of hearts or something? Right? We either have... We either call a flop with a spade or some sort of pair set straight draw type combination. We only have one straight draw. If we have pairs and sets, we flat. So I feel like the only way... One of the only ways to bluff is raise turn shove river. <sighs> Advantage of three betting, I get more money in versus them. But to be really honest, three shoving stacks behind me, this guy is so crazy. If they jam, I really think I'm gonna get 115 big blind gift. So let's just do it like this. And this is also really good, even if that player is not in, you know. Okay, it's too bad. I guess it was a back from the break tank. Crazy fucking uh, situation this tournament. It's so fun when somebody just plays a bit wild. I think book one is still the best. Oh yeah, and Hyperion. Yeah, I like book one as the best as well, to be honest, but this is a nice pot though. Yex. All right, we're just gonna jam. No slow playing here. Jax is way too vulnerable. Can't give a flop to all of his uh, equity to all of his bluffs in three bets. That's a gnarly setup. Too bad. It's definitely a table where you can make it back very easily, though. So. Well, if they flat, I just. I mean, this, this is the most insane fucking table I've ever played at. So what, I just make it 18 big blinds now? Just fold when they jam, I guess. And call when they do. Yeah, seems like a good plan. but multi-wave with no equity. Nice, heads up with my boy. Represent Park Hill. Wow, it's a rough multi-accounting. have sixes and deuces you know but they don't have tens bunch of ace highs they have an insanely wide range so i kind of like betting big here nice wow they actually have a hunt holy shit that's good though they're super wild, I don't want them out, they have a big bounty. Triple bounty. <laughs> Fuck, they busted? King 8, what can you do? I'm gonna misclick. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Uh, not like that. 
Just jam the flop. Not like that. Fuck me, bro. Uh, we don't have a bounty yet, even though I have uh, two and a half starting stacks. Wild, wild table. Definitely feel like, you know, this is nice. Obviously, it's nice to have two and a half starting stacks, etc., you know? But. It's uh, it's definitely one of those spots where you're like, wow, that could have gone even better, all right? If you think about all those hands. Wait, is it the home game? No, home game is soon, 20 minutes. Ball of Mad Monk, home game name is Lex Army. Ball of Mad Monk has a bounty on my head as always. Okay, okay, okay. No diamonds, no diamonds. Actually, uh, no pair of boards may be bigger here. Who knows? Oh, beautiful with the nuts. Oh my god. $187. I need it! Also, we're, okay, let's call this. Nice, nice, nice. 100 bit my path. Uh, 25, oh, this is easy, wow. No sweat, huh? Satellite. Was this a flush? Cool. <laughs> nice. This is nice. I'm gonna flat. Okay. 60 bigs, we call. Jesus Christ. Nice. Holy shit. 160 big blind pot and a bounty. Wow. Wow 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 Hope it's good. Oh that's so nice. Alright, Mad Monk guys, if you want your brain to be organized. Oh, let's check it out. Okay, nothing works anymore. Ooh, that's a sweet one. Do we just jam this? I don't like that the lead won't be blind, to be honest. Oh, such a good read. Okay. Nines here with 100 big blinds and a 530 bounty builder. This is a uh, $26,000 first edition of the 530 bounty builder. Let it be known, it's a lot of money. We get some light calls because of our bounty. $300 bounty all in here. Come on. Nice, that's so nice, so nice, so nice. All right, we call preflop. We were with this player on the other table earlier. Five would be insanely good. I think generally certain players will put too much money in with just the ace, you know what I mean? Especially versus ranges that contain more sixes than they do. Tens. 530 bounty, this is nice, it's just been in the money, so no tight falls for them. Okay.
I mean, what's like my best fucking case scenario here? A set of diamonds? Against a jack, I'm just like pure dead. Dead. Fuck me. That's so annoying. All right, then. That's fine. Have it your way. <laughs> Fuck me, that's crazy. Okay. They were at the table earlier, too, when all that crazy shit happens. But he wasn't that person that was like lead jamming or jamming third pair, etc. Okay, let's just hope that they don't have it, whatever it is. $420 bounty worth fighting for nine big blinds. Ooh, but that's tasty. That's tasty indeed. Get this done, Uncle Lex. Thank you, Andre Cruz. Four bigs. No fucking ace, I fucking swear. Quite good. Come on. Ah. Could have been worse, I guess. I mean, it looks pretty strong what they did there, you know. This or that. Well, I mean, like, you know, I'm kind of hoping people are watching here, you know. Oh, 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 oh. This is the open shover earlier. I think I'm just going to raise the flop. I think they're just jamming every single pair, like... Okay. Table's wild. Okay, I definitely want to barrel this because he calls with like lots of high cards, etc. Hands with a lot of equity. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever, it's gonna happen. We have 40 bigs. Six big blinds. So weird when you're almost relieved that somebody doesn't show, you know? In terms of like, just because you know you're gonna get in some awful fucking spot multi way. Um. Oof, that's nice. Squeeze the buttocks. It just seems that way also, right? When you're when you're winning hands, it just looks effortlessly, and then it's like, wow, you really. And then when you say stuff, it, when you talk about a range, it works out more often than not when you're running good in a day. So, I, like, I appreciate the compliment, but it's whoa! Come on, tournament defining hands. Ah, uh, fuck me, man. Okay. All right, 16 big blinds, no full equity. Ah, man. Would have had 53 with 375 in the bank. It's okay to be greedy, you know? It's okay to be greedy and uh, hate not winning there. 11 and a half bigs. Good luck. Six on the table. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shove. I'm going to be in the blinds. The blinds are going to go to 5k, 10k. I'll have six blinds behind. This hand will have equity versus hands that call. You want to be a bit careful shoving like suited connectors type jack 10, 10, 9 in bounty builders. But that's a lot a lot of times as well for 14 bigs, etc. Where it's not worth it. Where it would be worth it in regular tournaments. But here I just, you know. 41%. Okay, that's great. <sighs> okay. 
Big moments now, every single hand in the 530. All right, we're jamming in the 530 bounty. Oh, nice. When the queen's that looks good, come on. Oh, that's nice. 25 bigs, 530 bounty. Wow, $1,100 bounty for 3.7 bigs. $1,100 bounty. Okay. I have a deuce. Fine turn. Quite good. Kind of like my turn bet. I'm pretty dense around fucking ASEX, that shoving range. All right. Oh, that feels so fucking good. <sighs> that feels good. Wow. It does feel good. Okay, queen high good. Fuck! God damn it. $600 bounty. Fuck me. <sighs> Too bad. It's kind of one of those hands. Lots of short stacks out there, but then one, once they shove, you can't really call, you know? <laughs> but you still... I mean, you would open this hand normally, so... You know. Big bounty short stacks out there doesn't make it a reason not to. And over here, shoving again. Definitely do not want to get called. But if we do, there's a $734 bounty in play. Yeah. <laughs> Moaned it in a little bit too. Well, I mean, like, how often do you win that flop, right? Wish I could send him an emote. He did that twice to me. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a spiteful person. And that's fine. It's okay to have a little spite. It makes me competitive, you know? Ace 5, top and bottom pair. Great fucking boards. Pretty deep at this stage, 35 bigs. I think I'm just gonna call. Mm -hmm. Don't necessarily wanna see Broadway cards. But let's just pretend they have King 10, and uh, this is it. One of those spots where if you get shoved on, you just want to fucking flip your desk, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's a, <laughs> a little bit of an exaggeration. Okay. All right, never mind. Losing fives as well. Right, this is fucking perfect. $1,800 bounty. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, just get a turn that they can jam, you know? Oi. I think once we're this shallow, there's no real reason for them to check this very often, right? If you have 40 bigs, sure. But like, if you have queens with no club, there's no reason not to shove here. Because I'm just gonna have, uh, uh, I'm just gonna shove a lot of the flush rolls on the flop. Don't really know what to make of this bet, but I think I'm just gonna get it in. I think he's gonna check back quite a bit as well. Lots of hands that sort of can destroy my action, right? Six, eight, three, club. 
club could fuck me too. All right, too bad we didn't get the bounty, but still 32 big blind pots. Yeah, a bit ambiguous, but it's okay, you know. Could do a lot worse there. Wow, this is a fucking dream table here. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a wonderful time in that tournament. Not much I can do, that hand plays itself, you just gotta pay the tax, you know. That's good. Okay. We're gonna yam. Yam and pray. It's a great strategy. I'm right down at the bottom, just starting to feel a bit wintry today. Yeah, it's getting uh it's getting worse, huh? Uh if you win a silver pass. Oh nice, nice final table, okay. Okay, this is a nice final table, holy shit, we're second. Fucking wild, oh my goodness. Good luck. Oof, $1,600 bounty. A little small blend all in, too greedy. Nice. Boom. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, $1,600. Bounty daddy. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. So $1,800 bounty if somebody knocks me out. We want 3.5k in bounties, which is nice. It's been a really good day. Can we make it a huge day, though? Alright, so another one bites the dust. I mean, it's a lot harder playing against a chip leader with to your left when you have like 35 bigs, because then if they 3-bet every single time, your stack's in jeopardy, right? But if they 3-bet me too much now, I can still play a lot of flops. So I have to get through this every time I raise, which is fine, like these guys obviously can't pressure me. It's Bully John that's the biggest problem, but it's okay, you know? I'm gonna open solid hands, like I'm not gonna open like bottom shit. I'm gonna open very linear. You see, I'm still getting quite a few raises through, right? It's not like they can just annihilate me because I can just actually play flops with my stack. It's not like my hands are that tight. Yo, uh, win for me, loss for you. Thank you for the nine months. All right, I have to call six big blinds. It's not the biggest bounty in the world. I guess it's not the smallest either, though. Oof. That's rough. Has no repercussions, though. Still got covered by this player. I still covered them. Oh, we actually uh, laddered. Okay, let's see. Curious to see how he reacts. All right, so 3,500 guarantee, it's nice. Oh, there's an all-in in the 530 bounty. Whoa, wait, what the fuck happened here? What the fuck, how the fuck did that go in? Huh? All right. It's going pretty well. Able to sort of maintain my stack. Even with the chip leader to my left, so that's good. Oh. Nice, we definitely don't want a short stack to double here. Good shit. It's a $1,400 money jump for us. Crazy man, we had, some, we had 86 today. 
Fucking wild. Okay. Could possibly jam. God, I'm so bad at these spots. I think with the $1,800 bounty, I have to call money invested. It's the weakest showing ranges that we're going to see, right? I do so well against like random ace five shoves, etc. under pairs. Come on, club, nine, ten. Fuck! God damn it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So much equity. $2,000. Money jump as well. Wow, that was a 5k hand. <laughs> well, did they just call with ace high? Are these guys, are they just like an insane gangster or something? Or what's going on here? Okay, this is really nice. We ladder. Bully John takes the bounty in a big pot. Okay, four handed. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna limp. We're gonna get shoved on a shitload. It's actually really nice to protect our limps as well. Come on, let's go, Bully John. Okay, let's just jam. There's no point getting fancy uh, now after this. Okay. Okay, let's hope. Can we ladder again? Oh, do it, Bully John. That would be a $2,000 ladder. It'd be nice. This is why it's so important to finish first or second. Second, at least, in Bounty Builders. From, so we cash for 6k. If we finish two spots higher in a, tour, in a tournament with fucking 300 people, if we finish two spots higher, we more than double our prize money. So crazy how tournaments work, huh? Okay. Oh, it's hot. Oh, thank you, Mel. Yeah. It's sticky. Oh, we too. Oh, sorry. All right, so effectively all in. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, now we just call, of course. Holy shit. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> that is such an absurd call. Fucking hell. All right, it's fine. You know, no sense. <sighs> Jack 10, wow, crazy, wow. Okay, well, you know. Okay, okay, it's all good. 10-9 versus Ace queen King-Queen versus Jack-10. Still nice to have a few ladders in there. Boom! 13k up today, that's really good. Back to 21k, we started at 7 today, so... 13k up, not bad at all. Warm-up got third, which is like, meh. 10k in this one is nice, though. So that's really good.